What's going on guys, Principal 31 go by good buddy Bruce at Camp Armament. Be sure to check out his channel. And we're bringing you guys another review video of some Helicontex uh, clothing that we picked up recently. And uh, not everything I'm wearing is from Helicon, but Bruce is wearing a Tiger Stripe outfit that we did a video on a couple months ago. And uh, I've got some new stuff in the awesome and famed Desert Night camouflage pattern. Now, if you guys don't recognize this pattern, it's an older pattern. It was designed to defeat older Cold War, Soviet era, uh, Generation One night vision. Uh, and essentially, it's just a, a light green palette with the, like a dark green grid with some like dark green splotches on it. Uh, very nostalgic, guys. Uh, it's been one of my all-time like favorite nostalgic patterns. Not because it's effective, but essentially just because it looks cool, guys. Does it hold up well against Generation Three and you know uh, more current night vision products? No. It's not, it does not defeat that stuff. Uh, but, you know, for the nostalgia of the camouflage pattern, it's just a fantastic uh, little pattern. I've always enjoyed it. Uh, the, the outfit that Bruce has on, like I said, we already did a video over it. Uh, but these are some, some products that Helicon Texas is putting out. They're, they're picking up those older nostalgic camouflage patterns. I know Bruce is a big fan of Tiger Stripe, man. I am a big fan of Tiger Stripe, but I also love the night desert. I mean, nothing screams first desert storm like that old right. night desert pattern when it started popping up everybody's like whoa 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 what is that and, you know it's night desert oh my god what does that mean <laughs> you know but uh, in today's terms like you said nostalgic pattern very cool looking very futuristic looking and actually if you're in a area where a dark green would blend in this actually would blend in fine yeah and i have an older video when i first started doing the camouflage vegna series uh, i have an older video where i were this camouflage pattern in the spring summertime when the uh, vegetation is very lush and, and bright. So anyway, anyways, guys, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in, check out some of the clothing that Helicon Tex is producing in this desert night camouflage pattern. And uh, we'll see what you guys think of it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. All right, guys, so let's talk about the Helicon Urban Tactical Pants, as you guys can see right here. Before I get to that, I wanna show you the original USGI Desert Night Camouflage Pants. Now, a lot of you guys are looking at these and thinking, oh, those are some you know BDU trousers. Well, here's the thing, and you can still get these. These are out there, but these are not BDU trousers, guys. These are actually over pants. Think like Gore-Tex. Uh, pants they go over your regular utilities and uh, as you guys can see in these pockets here they have velcroed it's literally a pass-through and this is so that you can get to your normal BDU trouser uh, that you're wearing underneath it and the same is true for the cargo pockets it's just a velcro to get in there so yes you can buy these on you know places like eBay and surplus stores and stuff like that but just understand that they are over pants they are not you know actual BDU trousers so um, and these also have pockets in the rear those are actual pockets unlike the uh, ones on the side so these are kind of like the uh, m65 pants um, an older older model but those are out there just be aware of it there's not too many companies guys that are producing desert night stuff um, this Gore-Tex this reversible Gore-Tex that I have on this is something I picked up years ago the boonie I'm wearing years ago the desert and i camouflage for the most part uh people really haven't picked on picked up on it yet but it is getting it's getting more prevalent i i, I watched a couple videos where like ram thumb is running around with uh, the same reversible gore-tex so it is kind of making a gump comeback guys and we can thank companies like helicon Tex for uh reproducing this stuff but these are actually dedicated trousers in the desert night camouflage pattern guys so uh what i want to do is i'm going to go through and give you guys an up close look at these so that you uh, know what they look like and some of the features on them so starting off these are the helicon Tex urban tactical pants and uh i just want to say right off the bat guys the sizes are a little off for u.s sizes all right the helicon Tex is out of i believe poland is it poland yeah yeah, they're out of Poland. Uh, their US sizing is a little bit different than what we're used to in terms of like BDUs and stuff like that. So always get at least one size bigger than you're normally gonna wear, all right? This says large waist 34 inches to uh, 32 inches um, for, their, for their large. So me personally, you know, if, if I was gonna buy these, I have an XL on right now and these are a little snug on me. 
I would probably go 2XL for me. I've got a 38 inch waist. So um, just when you're, when you're buying these, again, be cognizant of the fact that the sizing runs a little bit small. If you're an American, I would buy at least one size bigger than you're normally used to getting. So with that said, guys, let's move on and actually start looking at these. So closure in the front, just like the, uh, the tiger stripe ones that Bruce was wearing earlier, it uh, secures with the Velcro, okay? You have a zipper fly. All right, so there's not like a, like on a BDU style, you have a, you know, the extra flap here in the back. So it's more like your regular pants. So zipper fly, Velcro closure, and then you have uh, your belt loops are a lot thicker. Okay, so what they can definitely accommodate a rigger style belt, which you guys can see in the video that I'm, I'm showing here. In the back, it uh, is expands. What's that? I know you're a big tailor guy. Elastic. Elastic, elastic, sorry, had a brain fart there. So it has elastic so it ex expands, so you got a little bit more uh, meat on your waist, like I do, <laughs> it will accommodate you to a, a certain extent, okay? And again, you have the uh, belt loops going all the way around. Uh, looks like we have a little, yeah, a little thing here for attaching something. I don't know what you'd put on there, but maybe like a, a D-ring or a little mini carabiner or something to hook onto. Uh, maybe if you got something that has a lanyard, you can attach it to that and keep it in your pocket. Oh, compass, compass would be great. So you can put the, uh, attach your compass to that little uh, loop there. So pockets here, as you guys can see up close, this is reinforced. So if you're gonna put a, a knife or something in there, you know, it'll help keep it so it's not ripping it. So reinforced pockets and they seem you know, pretty roomy in there. Just swallows up my hand. Normal size pocket, I guess you could say. All right, let's flip it on to the back side. So the back side, you have these deep pockets in the back, right? There's no flap that goes over the top that secures it. Um, so these are kind of designed for shoving like gloves back there, maybe a magazine, like a 30 round magazine. It also has a smaller pocket. So if you got like a, maybe a flashlight or if you want to stick your pocket knife down there, you can do so. But that little smaller pocket's around the outside so that you can easily get to it from behind. And that these style of pockets are on both sides in your ass. So, all right, let's go to the side of the trousers here. We're gonna look at the cargo pockets. So these are mirrored. So the same style that's on one side is on the complete opposite side as well. And uh, so it's got two separate compartments. Uh, this one right here, it, in my opinion, looks like it's designed to hold a 30 round magazine. Um, and then you have the back side of that pocket. It's pleated so it expands, but it's kind of a, like a smaller cargo pocket. So picture uh, a cargo pocket that's split, all right? So these are two separate compartments, all right? This one is the size of essentially an M16 30 round magazine. And then uh, this is just a, your standard cargo pocket that closes with a zipper. Going back to the front of the trousers here. Looks like your knee is reinforced, so there's a second layer of material that's sewn on here. And they, they definitely designed these to accommodate the, uh, the bend in the, in the leg. You can see the, uh, the stitching and stuff and how it's laid out. I do not think that these accommodate one of those inserts. I could be wrong. I'm not feeling or seeing anything to slide anything in that. So if you are, again, I could be wrong on this guys, but if you're the guy that's looking for the uh, knee inserts, I don't think that these can do that. But these, again, these are reinforced with extra material here. At the base, I do not see, the, it's got the slits for like the little pull tabs, um, but I don't feel any actual material inside there. So uh, it has the slits. I guess if you wanted to run a string through there, I never use those little strings, but, um, Again, the slits are there, but I don't see, I don't feel any type of uh, clenching material inside the actual pant leg. So, that's about it, guys. I don't see any other uh, features on the trousers. They, they definitely look and feel great. Um, I think the biggest thing is just, you know, be cognizant of the sizing. And then, uh, if I didn't mention this, these pockets are definitely at like an angle. Um, so, somewhat angled instead of like a straight up and down size they're more angled I guess for easier access 
And that pretty much wraps up the, uh, the trousers. All right, guys, the next piece of gear made by Helicontex in the Night Desert Camouflage pattern that we're gonna be taking a look at is called the Wolf Hound Hoodie. So just like the trousers, I wanna show you guys some, uh, you know, where this thing drew its inspiration from, essentially. This is the Desert Night Parka, okay? Now, once again, just like the trousers, this was designed to go over the utility uniform, okay? So this was a long uh, parka style, and uh, it's kind of reminiscent of the Korean War era parka. Uh, but I had a hoodie, and then uh, as you guys can see, you know, it's just a typical parka, and then these buttons, I believe, are gonna be passed through just like on the trousers. Yeah, see how they're passed through? So it's not exactly a jacket, although I've got a good buddy of mine that served in Desert Storm and they, he told me that they, they called these uh, smoking jackets, all right? So when they would go out to the smoke pit and whatnot, because these actually had a liner that would button into them, just like an M65 field jacket. Uh, they, would, they would throw these on at night in Desert Storm and, and go to the, uh, you know, burn one. <laughs> so anyways, let's get to the actual jacket itself. That's where it got its inspiration, obviously, with the Desert Night Camouflage. Uh, this is the Wolf Hound Hoodie. Now, I don't know if Helicontex makes these in different camouflage patterns. I would imagine that they probably do. Uh, so you guys can check these out if you're interested in a different style color than uh, what you see here. But obviously, um, as you guys can see, it's just a, a light, packable style um, jacket, really. It's just, you know, like a, like a puffy, but like a lighter uh, puffy type material. And... Uh, it has a hoodie, it has some elastic on the hairs, it's pretty stretchy. You got one side pocket right here in the chest that you can keep stuff in there, probably like a cell phone or whatnot. Going down on your, yep, just on one side on your left hand or left side shoulder, you have a, uh, a Velcro area. If you wanna put like a flag patch there, you can do so. You guys can see in both pits is that, uh, that stretchy material. So it's not the same like padded, um, you know, comfortable material that you have in the actual jacket itself. It's uh, the stretchy for, I guess, more airflow, more, less restrictive. If you guys have ever operated in a cold weather environment, you start putting on those more and more layers of cold weather clothing, you guys, uh, it gets really restrictive. So this will help with that because uh, by having that lighter material, or excuse me, yeah, that lighter material here, it helps keep it from bunching up and being less, uh, you know, being more restrictive on your, your mobility there so moving down guys you got two little pockets here in the front just to put your hands in keep your your hands warm and again this is this is kind of like a, a light light jacket guys this is like uh something you would wear over a um just throwing on just for a little bit of extra warmth um, in the back of the hoodie it looks like you have a little clinch so you can clinch it up make it tight around your head and that has a drawstring so you can tighten that up, all right. And that's about it. It has elastic in the cuffs, all right. So there's nothing to, you know, like on this parka, I have to, uh, you know, clench it down. This is just uh, like an elastic, so it stays tied around your uh, your cuff here. Same is true on the bottom. Going back to the front, you got double zipper, all right. So zipper on the bottom as well as on the uh, top, all right. And that's what it looks like inside. Oh, look at that. Just found another pocket. So there's an inner pocket on the right-hand side. A little hidden pocket there. So that's it, guys. That is your uh, Wolfhound hoodie in the Desert Night Camouflage pattern by Helicon Tech. All right, guys, the last product I'm going to talk about from Helicontex in this awesome Desert Knot camouflage pattern is this uh, Swagman Roll Advanced Poncho Liner. All right, and you guys can see it comes in this nice little packable bag here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Actually, before I do that, if you guys can zoom in here and look and see all the different applications that this little poncho liner, it's not your typical USGI style poncho liner. It looks like they've designed it so that it has multiple rolls. So. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Now, let me say that I actually just took this up to uh, some cold weather training. 
up in Missouri with SNS Training Solutions, and I actually took this poncho liner with me. And uh, as far as I can tell, it performed notably. It kept me warm. I mean, it wasn't the only thing I was using this uh, to sleep at night. I obviously had uh, other sleeping bags, but this was the poncho liner that I took with me uh, for that training. Um, so there we go, right there. So I've already got this zipped up. So this is like in a, a sleeping configuration right now. So as you guys can see, it's zipped up on the bottom, all right, and on the sides. And I have it zipped all the way up, okay, and you would get inside this to use it like in a sleeping. So if you're going to use this as a, uh, you know, like a ranger roll, this is what you would do. You would, you would get your poncho, put your poncho over this, and then uh, this would be your poncho liner so that you get inside this and it's kind of like a lightweight patrol bag, okay? So if you're not in some really cold weather, if it's just you know, slightly cold, maybe it gets down into uh, the 50s, low 50s at night, just enough to make you uncomfortable and you're, and you're running a ranger roll, this would be ideal, guys. All right, so now I'm, a, I'm about six foot two, okay? You guys can see it's covering me up pretty good here. All right, so it goes essentially, I mean, all the way up, almost to the top of my head. And if I want to, I can just, you know, suck on down in there. Oh, look at this. A nice little comfortable jacket here. All right, guys, so have it completely unzipped. As you guys can see, it's kind of like in a, in a blanket mode, I guess you could say. Uh, so if you want to just have it flat using a traditional style blanket, this is what it would look like. Now if you look in closely towards the center here, you'll probably notice a zipper as well as some sort of pouch looking thing. Now what that is, it's kind of an internal pocket with some Velcro. You undo that and pull this out and it becomes your hood. All right. And then I'll show you what this pocket is for here in a second. I'm going to actually put this on. It's going to be more like a poncho now. All right, so I got it on like a poncho. Now on each side is a male and a female clip. All right, and come over the front, connect that and tighten it down as I see fit. And now it's kind of like a, like a German World War II Zeltbahn style of uh, camouflage if you want to wear it in this manner. Now I got a big uh, chest pocket, kind of like an anorak. Unzip that and it's got a big roomy pocket there. All right, obviously a, a jawstring. I can tighten this up as much as I want. <laughs> Look like a Smurf or something. Okay, and tighten that up to your liking. But this is in the poncho configuration. All right, guys. Last thing I'm gonna show you is just you know how you can quickly pack this up. So again, it has a little comes with a little stuff sack. So. Uh, if I'm in a hurry, you know, and I want to pack this quickly, I can do so. Just stuff it in there. Doesn't have to be pretty. Cinch it down, and it's packed up. Also on the stuff sack, as you guys can see on the bottom here, it's got mesh, so it really helps push that air out quickly. Uh, and then it looks like it has a little carrying handle as well. Um, but there. Easy peasy, quick, easy, convenient, throw it in your ruck, you're ready to rock and roll. Well, that's it guys, that concludes this video review or some of these new products from Helicontext over featuring this Desert Night camouflage pattern. Very nostalgic, very cool. Yeah, I know it's a big favorite of uh, both Bruce and I. What you got, man? Yeah, this Wolfhound hoodie is fantastic. I tell you that, it's super comfortable. It's a light jacket made out of parachute material. Sort of reminds me of an M65 liner, but yeah. instead of being a liner, it's full zip. It's a standalone unit. Super comfortable. I really like it. Like Brent said, we both love this pattern. And the trousers that Helicon Tex is offering, lots of cool pockets, lots of cool features. They fit me really well. And I'm telling you, having just put them on for the first time and worn them around for a little bit, super comfortable. Yeah, and this is the first pair of uh, trousers that I've gotten other than those USGI surplus ones. So it's nice to have pants. They're actually designed to be pants and not outer pants. <laughs> That's right. For one of the first times, yeah. you can, these are standalone pants as well rather than some type of, of outer, yeah. outer layer. Yeah. 
So again, it's it's great to see that companies are starting to bring back some of these nostalgic patterns, whether it's Tiger Stripe or right. Desert Night Camouflage. Big uh, hat tip to Helicon Techs for yeah. us revisiting some of these classic patterns. Absolutely. Well, that's it guys, that completes this video. Uh, I will have links to these products down in, uh, if not the description box, the pinned comment section. Uh, so be sure to check those out. Be sure to check out Bruce's channel, Bruce at Camp Armament. And a uh, big thanks to him for help coming out here and helping me film this video. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a comment.